Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have you again. This is a movie from 2010. It is an hour and 46 minutes long, and it's a comedy starring Kristen Bell. You might know her in the Disney realms as Anna, from, or Anna, from Frozen, and uh, Veronica Mars, and she was in Heroes for a short bit. Uh, she was on The Good Place. Uh, she's been in a lot of stuff that I have that I love, and I she's one of my favorite comedic and dramatic actresses. Uh, she is just freaking awesome in every way. Uh, but she is not alone in this movie. This is actually... Whoever put this movie together just super stacked the deck, cast-wise. This had to be fairly expensive. Uh, movie? I, I don't know. I, I mean, weirdly, okay, this is a comedy. It's a family comedy, technically. It's really rated PG. Now, this is the kind of film that you would normally expect with this level of cast to get a little wild, get a little rough around the edges. That was the kind of, that is, is and was a trend in uh, films for a time where it was, it was, you know, to get body, you know, she was in, I think she was in Bad Moms too, I think, I don't remember. Uh, but that's not going to be on Disney+. Plus. But uh, this is. This is a Disney film. This is actually a um, Touchstone film. Touchstone Pictures film. And, but it's, so, you know, you get, she was in, you know, Forgetting Sarah Marshall and, and a few other things. It's, Kristen is not afraid to get a little raunchy, a little a little dirty. Uh, and neither are any of her co-stars that I can uh, see here. This is, <laughs> this is, like, I was kind of surprised. One, I thought, well, this has got to be a little bit racy, a little bit rough, maybe profanity. Uh, no, not at all. None of that is in this. Uh, it is a, is a movie about uh, dealing with bullying and, and abuse uh, when you're a, when you're a kid and uh, finding a way to get revenge or give forgiveness if the opportunity arises. Uh, and uh, this is a story that Kristen has to deal with. She plays uh, Marnie. And she is picked on by an astoundingly beautiful woman, a young woman in high school, while uh, Kristen, they ug her up a bit. Okay, they rough her up a bit. They, uh, the greasy hair, the, the zits, the stuff that we all go through as kids, uh, just, uh, she, but braces, she's got all this stuff that, that makes life living in high school difficult that uh, I shouldn't say ug up or, or it, it again it's it's that it's that uh, attitude people have about you know defining beauty and uh, she was the definition the is she she depicted the common definition of uh, not a beauty uh, as difficult as I imagine that was it would be with for Kristen Bell they do it uh, they make her a little rough. I love her that she was nerdy and everything else, but uh, she's the kind of girl that, you know, you don't see as all that hot in school, and guess what? She gets grows up. She's just astoundingly gorgeous. She's she's accomplished. She's intelligent. She's funny as well, uh, but uh, she gets called home to uh, for her brother's wedding, uh, who uh, she loves very much. Uh, she gets along great with him. Uh, he wanted to protect her as it, when they were kids, and she would not call out the bullies. She just she knew it would make things worse. So she um, is, has a great relationship with him. But of course, um, there's going to be some conflict in here, and for good reason. She comes, as she's flying home, she discovers that the woman that her, her brother is going to marry is her bully. As the woman, the young, well, the young woman who picked on her in high school. And just, it was merciless. It was cruel, just super, super cruel. Yeah. And uh, she has every reason to not like this girl. She has every reason. And her brother is in love with her. And uh, when she gets home, well, things get weird. It starts with, and then this is as far as I'm going to go with it, a detail-wise, story-wise, uh, it gets as far as coming face to face with her nemesis and her nemesis having no idea who she is. 
which is just even more frustrating and aggravating for her. So yeah, uh, we get to see Kristen Bell going up against Odette Annabelle. Annabelle? Odette Annabelle. She, I don't think I've seen her in anything else. I don't know why. She seems like a fine actress. I, she's not, the, the camera clearly loves her, so. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so, but uh, therein lies this uh, struggle as adults to see if she can get revenge or just balance the scales. Not necessarily revenge, but balance the scales and maybe even end her brother's wedding because she knows that the that girl that she picked on her in high school is just garbage. Or she thinks. And, uh, or, or can she forgive her for all the things that she had done? And how far is she willing to take it? So yeah, you get that storyline. That's the main storyline. Kristen's at the heart of it. But then you get to see that <laughs> by a considerable amount of coincidence, uh, Kristen's mom, uh, well, Marnie's mom, is played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes, Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween and everything else she's done over the years. Uh, True Lies. Uh, she is an iconic uh, actress. Um, and uh, her bullies, Joanna, 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 not Joanne, Joanna, Joanna, uh, her mom is played by Sigourney Weaver, who is super, super accomplished as well uh, in many ways, but she's single. And in a sense, uh, Sigourney Weaver plays the Kristen Bell role in relation to Jamie Lee Curtis. And there's a, it's not the same story, but there's a lot of coincidences where they knew each other in high school and things were not good. So that story has to work itself out as well. Uh, other people in this, uh, Victor Garber plays her dad, uh, Betty White shows up. She's just, she's mostly there to be Betty White and say snarky comments that you wouldn't expect an older woman to say. So, you know, it's, you know, she's just fun to have in there. And she has a rival at one point, which I will not ruin, which is just, it's just cool for me. I, I really liked that this certain woman showed up and was not in the credits. Uh, at the beginning that I could see, or in IMDb, like at the top or anywhere, because there's a lot, by the way, there's a lot of surprise cameos in this. There are so many surprise cameos, one of which is not a surprise cameo, but she's she's listed clearly by one of my favorite appearances. One of the favorite entrances is by Kristen Chenoweth, and uh, yeah, Kristen Chenoweth has a big interest, and she is a, as tiny as she is, she has a big uh, personality in this thing. She's, she's lots of fun. Uh, Kyle Bornheimer, you might recognize him. He, I think he was on the, yeah, he was on The Office. I think, was he? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I think he was Pam's original boyfriend, fiance. Don't know. Uh, but anyway, either way, he, uh, he has a really funny part. Uh, and I, I don't want to ruin, uh, yeah, again, there's a number of crazy cameos my favorite is the air marshal, and I will not tell you who that is, but uh, you have to watch it. Don't have to, it's, don't have to go very far into the film. Uh, let's just say Marnie's on a plane when she finds out who's her brother's marrying. And she needs to be restrained, and who better than this person? It's kind of great. So, uh, and it's like there's lots of like a big names in this movie it's kind of crazy that they they did this it looks like it's just a fun pg film uh there's no uh sexuality like there's no i mean there's no nudity or creepiness or anything else that, it, that you would expect kids to be freaked out by let's just say um i would not say sexuality is bad or anything it's just it's a, on Disney Plus, so it's not going to get too wild. Let's just say that. Uh, but it's I've found for this type of genre of film, for the audience it would be made for, uh, and with the actresses who are willing to do a lot of the more uh, body stuff, they, they didn't do it. So it's uh, this is a, a good, safe, fun film. It is not going to appeal to everybody, obviously. It's not the kind of movie I would have... when I, I don't even remember this coming out. I don't even remember the trailer. And usually anything Kristen Bell does, I'm, a, I'm aware of. And I just don't remember this film. 
ever. And I technically wouldn't have gone see go, gone to see this because it didn't look like it was in my wheelhouse as much as Chris, I love everybody in it that I see. Headed up by Kristen Bell. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a great movie, but it's, it's good. If you just want a simple laugh and... Uh, Just a fun little thing. It's good enough for a rainy Sunday afternoon, maybe. You know, just kick, kick it back on the couch, relaxing. And you like Kristen Bell, you like all these people that you see in this picture right here. If you like all these people, it might be worth your time. <clears throat> There's a whole lot worse here on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 612. Oh, don't have to go far. I'm dropping 10. 612. Don't even have to. Oh man. I just, I mean, that was a uh, beginning with Y. And I knew that right above it, of course, is X in the list. And I just missed all of the X Men movies. Just missed. Uh, this one is, it looks like a documentary ish thing. It, I don't know if it's a series or if it's a one off thing. But, uh,. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to guess, uh, but we're going to watch Exonerated. Exonerated. You know what that is? Well, if you do, well, then you watch it along with me. I'll talk to you, come back here and talk to, talk to you about it tomorrow. Exonerated on the, on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.